Curiosity, the strong desire to learn or know something. Curiosity has been a necessary feeling to help us as a species better understand our world. From creating fire, to colonizing new territory, to creating new technology to help us better our lives. And learning what it's like to take hardcore drugs by pillaging PS5 shovelware. Hey everyone, Road Breach here, and today we're taking a look at four games by The Voices Games. The Voices Games is an indie developer on Itch.io that has gotten a couple of games on modern PlayStation consoles. I first heard of this dev when somebody posted a picture of one of their games on the PlayStation subreddit. And since the games they make are so cheap, I figured why not make a video about them. So without further ado, let's start off with Lady in a Leotard with a Gun. No, I did not make up that title. Oh my god, what the hell have I gotten myself into? This is on the PS5, the same console as Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart and Miles Morales. Hell, Astro's Playroom looks better than this. The character models are low-poly humanoids with no textures, only colors assigned to faces on the models. There are no textures anywhere in this game. Every level looks like it came from the beta stage of development. The first six levels look the same despite having different layouts, and these first six levels are where it seems most of the effort went into. Despite being horribly bland looking, these levels have lighting fixtures and some semblance of furniture in one level. The rest of the levels are either a single color or two colors. Whoopity do. And if all that wasn't bad enough, the animations look like crap. And all you get for the UI is a health count in the top corner. Whoopity do. By the way, the title screen has a better looking version of your character. Still doesn't look that good, but why does the in-game model look like something I would make in Blender? It's not like this game is pushing the PS5 to its limits, so it doesn't really make sense why you couldn't smooth out the in-game model. The sound effects aren't much better. You can't hear the gunshots over the music, and a good chunk of the enemies have a single grunt sound when they get hurt. All the feminine enemies have one grunt sound that sounds awful, and the masculine enemies have one grunt sound that doesn't sound any better. Even when you hear the gun, it sounds awful too. The only half-decent thing about the audio is the music by Tim Beak. It's a generic techno loop that I could imagine being in an early 90s sci-fi movie. And the gameplay isn't any better. Lady in a Leotard with a Gun is the most bare-bones third-person shooter I've ever played. The enemy AI just struts on over to you as you mash R2 to fire, some of which will half-heartedly fire projectiles at you. Most of the enemies move as slow as a steamroller, so they'll have no chance to do any meaningful damage to you as you mow them down. Some enemies do move faster, and some of them will try to take you down with melee attacks, but often, they'll be dead before they even do anything to you. You have a dodge roll, but you'll almost never have to use it, because most enemies move slower than New Moon's pacing, and the AI isn't smart enough to necessitate it. The only enemy I had to use it against was this lady with a flamethrower. The only other reason to use it is because your movement speed is slow. The gunplay is straight up awful. I feel like I'm firing blanks into my enemies, but they drop dead anyway. The single weapon you get in this entire game feels more limp than soggy bread. Hell, nerf guns feel more impactful than this. There is an enemy type that fires tracking rockets, but when you get hit by it, it makes your health go down by a couple decimal points. What? Everything else makes your health go down by a whole point or more, but then here comes these enemies that make your health go down by decimals. What is this? There is one level that tries to break up the monotony by turning the game into a side-scroller, but it doesn't make it any better. The developer also didn't think to make falling out of the level reset you at the checkpoint, either. The final level is so damn big for no reason, and if you decide you want to make your way to the other end of this untextured ravine, you'll find this thing. What is this? I got a trophy for getting to this point, by the way. The ending is bad, too. It just says, you win, for now. Okay, next game on the chopping block is Lizard Lady vs. the Cats. This game does have some vague pretense of a story. The cat gang murders a million puppies for no reason, 
and this angers the lizard lady enough to exact justice by killing the entire cat gang. The visuals look even worse than Lady in a leotard with a gun. They decided to add this ugly filter to try and make it look like a comic book, but it ends up looking so gaudy with these scale textures over the lizard lady and the awful brick textures over the walls and floor. The levels are more simplistically modeled. These levels are just walls pasted on top of floors. The character models are smoother this time around, but considering everything else, this isn't really trading up or down in the looks department. The Lizard Lady also gets a new outfit every level, which confuses the hell out of me. If this is meant to look like scales, then are these supposed to be stockings, and this is supposed to be her skin? It also looks incredibly bizarre when you sidestep. The sound design is just as bad, but slightly different here. One hertz sound for all female enemies, no sound whatsoever for male enemies, you can't hear the gunshots over the music, but the music has no right being this good. The gameplay is slightly different this time. You can't just spam fire here, because if you do that, your ammo will deplete quickly. So you'll need to let it recharge when that happens. The enemies are also more aggressive, so the dodge roll becomes less useless here. I found that you can't jump and shoot at the same time. Stupid, but still very crappy. There's also this lock-on button to make combat even more trivial than before. The ending is also shit. The lizard lady drops to her knees and screams, What have I done? What? Why do you feel bad for doing this? You should feel elated that you brought justice to those murdered dogs. Taking out these Fauci cats was your goal, and you succeeded. Taking these assholes out should be like killing Thanos and Among Us getting shut down, and how satisfying this should be for you. But this vapid ending isn't the end of this, because it tells you that the story is to be continued in Lizard Lady vs. Herself. To be continued usually implies that the story is going to be resolved in a sequel or future episode. Lizard Lady vs. Herself is a survival horde mode like Call of Duty Zombies, if Call of Duty Zombies made your eyes bleed and wasn't good. Yeah, I have the saturation turned down for the sake of you not having your eyes bleed at staring at this shit. This is also why I changed my background to this nice blue gradient. You're welcome, by the way. Next up, Spectre Wood. Quite possibly the worst looking game here. What the hell was the developer going for here? The aspect ratio doesn't match up with the screen, the resolution looks like a Lego mosaic, and the character has no shading. Wait, were they trying to evoke a retro aesthetic? Yeah, they were probably trying to do that here, but considering the last two games, I don't really care if that was the intent. The game starts off with a wedding, but then it cuts to a woman by herself with a gun. I have no clue what the story is supposed to be. The levels all look the same. They're all grassy forests with the same shitty looking trees sprinkled throughout. I'm thankful the background isn't trying to make my eyes bleed, but other games do that fine while still having levels that look different. There's no music this time. None. There's as much music here as there are Transformers games on Super Nintendo, GameCube, and Sega Genesis combined. How easily you were shown up by Five Nights at Freddy's of all things. The only audio you're ever going to hear from this trash is from your gun and from you getting hurt. The gameplay is boring. You walk to the exit while making flowers sprout. It's time to rise! The first level has no enemies, yet you still have a gun. The other levels have these ghosts with no animation whatsoever that shoot at you, so you shoot at them with the same limp gun you've seen before. The last level has you walking to the protagonist's grave, and it ends with a cutscene zooming out with the protagonist on the ground. It's probably supposed to be dramatic, but I can't help but focus on how bad the resolution makes the character look while zooming out. I left it on this screen for so long expecting something to happen, but the game doesn't even have the courtesy to boot you back at the main menu! You know, I'm curious where that statue thing from Lady in a Leotard with a gun came from. What is it supposed to be? Well, this comes from a game called Gunducky Industries. Just like the other games, it's a shooter, but unlike the others, it's a flying combat game. I bought Gunducky Industries Plus Plus, which is an updated version of the original game. Call it a car man's intuition that this isn't going to be very good despite being an updated version. Well, gee, I must be fucking psychic. The enemies look like shit. They're just a collection of low-poly shapes mashed together. The only decent thing about the visuals is the lighting. And much like the first two games, the music has no right being this good. It also has several songs to boot.
The controls are terrible. Unlike most flying games I've played, your jet won't recenter when you move the stick. So you constantly need to recenter the jet yourself. You can't maneuver with much precision. You can't bank at all. How easily you were shown up by Star Fox, of all things, on the Super Nintendo. There's no other weapons. All you get is this slow-ass main gun. No missiles, no bombs, no railgun, nothing. You get no auxiliary weapons whatsoever to make the game any fun. I mean, for fuck's sake, Iron Man VR gave you a shotgun. What makes it worse, every time you blow something up, the game hangs for a second. And in this flight combat game, you don't need to fight enemies at all to progress. All you have to do is get to the end. And because of how fucked the controls are, you're not gonna want to kill anything most of the time. Unless they're invincible for fuck all reason. I don't want to hear people complain about Star Fox Zero when shit like this exists. The bosses suck. The first one is this eagle kitted out with orb launchers and buzz chopper spawners. You beat this stupid thing by shooting all its green orbs. The final boss really takes the piss here. There's no boost button in this game. You're tiny, you move slow as fuck, this level is fucking huge, you need to fight bugs, and you need to avoid projectiles on top of it. How easily you were shown up by Star Fox of all things once again! And best of all, your projectiles do nothing at long range. It wouldn't make it any better if I did beat this fucking thing, because despite this being an updated version, its ending is non-existent. Go fuck yourself. Altogether, these games sent me back $1.71. But even that is far too much for these abominations. I may not have played every game by this developer, but I firmly believe you should stay the fuck away from anything this developer makes. I'm gonna go play something good now. Gotta zoom.